The European Space Agency's new astronaut candidates have successfully completed the first year of their basic training and are a step closer towards fulfilling their dreams of living and working in orbit. Appointed in May 2009 from ESA's 18 member states, they had each met a strict set of selection requirements. All from scientific engineering or aviation backgrounds, they share outstanding abilities in concentration, reasoning and manual dexterity, as well as being motivated team players. Most of the 18-month basic training course takes place at the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, Germany. The program has been agreed between the International Space Station partners and is designed to familiarize trainee astronauts with ESA's manned spaceflight operations, as well as providing some of the knowledge and skills they'll need for life in space. A significant part of the team's training has already been dedicated to operations on board the International Space Station with emphasis on its European components. At the European Astronaut Center, they've used simulators to practice using the various robotic arms on board the ISS and explored the functions of Europe's Columbus Laboratory. The candidates have also familiarized themselves with ESA's Automated Transfer Vehicle, or ATV, a 20-ton unmanned supply vehicle which periodically docks to the station. Using the full-scale mock-up in Cologne, they've been trained to oversee the ATV's automated rendezvous and docking maneuvers, and how to check items into and out of the spacecraft. They've also prepared for emergency situations that may arise whilst the ATV is docked to the ISS. Astronauts work in an isolated and hazardous environment, so medical procedures form an important part of basic training. Each trainee has now been given the basic skills needed to look after their own health and that of their colleagues in orbit. Certain maintenance tasks on board the International Space Station require astronauts to perform spacewalks. Technically known as extravehicular activity, or EVA, this means working outside the station for around five hours at a time. In ESA's neutral buoyancy facility, the candidates were given a taste of the challenges involved in working in microgravity, learning basic EVA skills such as tethering, using tools and communication. An even more realistic introduction to weightlessness came last May when the team took part in a parabolic flight in Bordeaux, France. Inside a modified Airbus 300, a special flight path gave them up to 22 seconds of weightlessness at a time. They use this unique opportunity to train on equipment, carry out experiments, and to just get a feel for microgravity, something that an ISS crew lives with 24 hours a day. ESA's astronaut corps requires all its candidates to be fluent in English. But for an international team working in space, Russian is also essential. As part of their basic training, the team spent time in St. Petersburg, where they were given an intensive course in the language. Back in Europe, at the end of June, the trainees were subjected to two weeks of survival training, as crew members returning from the ISS could be forced to land in a remote part of the world, potential astronauts need to learn how to stay alive in the wilderness. Skills such as hunting, climbing, shelter building and navigation could one day save their lives. ESA's new astronaut candidates are now in the final stages of basic training, becoming fully-fledged astronauts after a set of exams next autumn. The next stage is the International Space Station training phase, after which they'll be qualified to follow the likes of Paolo Nespoli and Andre Kopers into orbit, playing a part in Europe's most intense period of manned space flight yet.